Hey guys, this is Ron from Speaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are just gonna do a little fun drawing of... I guess it's my best friend's character but I use him or draw him and play him more, I guess. <laughs> so he's our character. Uh, we've had him since we were... I can't even remember. <laughs> 12, 13, 14 I guess. We've had him for quite some time. Uh, he's supposed to be this fox guy. Uh, he's supposed to be like this cool, stoic, emotionless character. Uh, if you're familiar with those Japanese anime kemono mini cat ear, fox ear, dog ear, rabbit ear characters, he's one of those. Um, why he's emotionless has to do a bit with his story, but I don't think I'll be getting into that. What I'm trying to do is... You know how in anime and manga illustrations, those like little art stuff uh, that the the mangaka does or the artist does. Um, like they would draw the character in a fruit bowl or on pancakes, on ice cream, in a cocktail glass. It's pretty common, especially if the if the series or the IP has a cafe coming up. Like they would do these cute illustrations sometimes. That's the kind of vibe that I was going for for this for this particular drawing. I wanted to draw a fox in a box, <laughs> and that's basically it, actually. Uh, I don't know, it was cute. <laughs> Originally, the idea was that he would be in a basket, like those wicker baskets, because in our uh, story, they have a fox form and a humanoid form, and the for their animal forms, they would have like a basket that they can sleep in, you know, they have, like a dog bed, but it's a basket, a wicker basket, something like that. <laughs> but um, the pose in the basket that cut off his torso a lot made it look a bit weird. I, it looked like his limbs weren't attached to each other. That's why I ended up drawing a clear box instead, instead of a basket, I guess. And I guess that's why. Um, that's why the illustrations for food is like that. It's in a clear bowl because you see the character. Because <laughs> I, I did a lot of poses and thumbnailing for this and actually drew a final piece for this thrice. So this is the third version already and none of them worked except this one which included the fact that I could see his torso which terrified me because the proportions aren't the best I think or I'm not used to drawing poses like this. Uh, I'm not really good with body folding and body, <laughs> I don't know, proportions and um, what's called that perspective. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I was a bit hesitant with this one, but I'm glad it turned out still pretty cute. Uh, why did I want to draw this? Nothing in particular actually. I think it's because I did that restricted canvas type of thing so uh, the video before this is the one where I drew an elf girl and I restricted myself to drawing all of the elements in a circle and any part outside of that circle should be white space, blank space, or just a really simple colored background but not anything that should be part of the piece and it made me remember that I had a lot of fun drawing pieces where there were no backgrounds. Uh, when I was younger, I hated- <laughs> well, to this day actually, I struggle and I'm having a hard time and I, I don't quite hate it anymore but I used to hate drawing backgrounds because they were so hard. Um, when I draw them, they always took away the attention from the main piece. I couldn't seem to get- like it was a hassle for me. So I always drew my characters with just the ground, maybe a rock or two or a tree here or there, but nothing more than that. And it was just white space. But at one point I pushed myself to draw backgrounds because I can't let myself be stagnant and just not draw backgrounds for all of my life. So I started doing that, but I forgot how fun it is to draw a character in just white space with just nothing around him and it's just there. And that's what I've been trying to do lately. It, it, it's refreshing, it's fun, it's fast, 
I still do back counts, don't worry. Uh, but I, I just kind of enjoy it right now. And I guess that's why I ended up drawing this because I just wanted to illustrate a fox in a box. <laughs> uh, I like saying it, a fox in a box, man. <laughs> so, how are you guys? I mean, are you doing anything new or interesting or fun or exciting? Alright, oh, I was supposed to uh, announce something. Um, I think I might be switching my upload schedule to Sunday instead of Saturdays, given that I am not able to keep up with the Saturday schedule. Why is that? When I first started uploading videos to my channel, I purposely made it Saturday because in my brain, my jobless brain, when I first started the channel, oh, when I got a job, I can draw at night, edit the video by Friday night, and then upload it on Saturday morning. That's a good schedule, right? Right? <laughs> Apparently not. Um, <laughs> nowadays, when I come home from work, I'm either too tired and just end up sleeping, or I'm playing something like Fake Grand Order, or right now I'm playing God Eater 3, and I don't draw, and I don't edit any videos, and I only end up drawing on Saturday itself. So what's happening is that the entire weekday, I'm not drawing, I draw on Saturday morning, I edit, it, I edit the video hopefully by Saturday afternoon, I export it, and then I get it up by Saturday evening. And that would be the best case scenario. What usually happens is that I draw on Saturday, edit on Sunday evening, get it up by Sunday morning, which I end up delaying to the evening anyway because time zones. I want to capture, you know, my American audience if I have any. Even though I know most of my audience is Philippines, but whatever. <laughs> but still, um, given that, I think I should switch to a Saturday schedule instead, or a Sunday schedule instead, just because it allows me more time to chill. I don't feel stressed that I don't have a video up by Saturday, and I'm always delayed anyway, so this might be the best. For my art live streams, or whenever I do do them, <laughs> It's been a year. I mean, I did the Arthur one a couple of a month or two ago, but it's almost been a year since, since I I've been live streaming. I think I can I can still do them on Sunday, uh, assuming that I do feel like it. Usually, I don't feel like it. Honestly, we'll see. We'll figure out the schedule. We'll end up with a good schedule eventually. So that's it. I I think that's my announcement. I'm switching to a Sunday schedule instead. What time will 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 go up? I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't think it makes much of a difference, to be honest. Between uploading on 8 a.m. versus uploading at 3 p.m., I still have to get the same views anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me right now. Uh, if I somehow miraculously get a boost in followers, that might change. But we'll we'll cross that bridge if ever we get there, right? Right. Yeah. I mean for. It, it gives me time to rest as well. I, I tend to use my Saturday as a completely hobo bomb day. I just crash in bed, play Fate Grand Order or God Eater, or watch anime, or... I actually don't know what I do on Saturdays. I think I just play Fate Grand Order and I just waste the day away, I think. Um, my chores are easy because I got an automatic washing machine, so I don't need to stand there for several hours anymore, which is great so yeah you, you know i think i think the schedule might work out my optimistic col freshly co college graduated as did not anticipate philippine traffic that as much as i thought i did so i really put a tight schedule myself but i feel like this would be a bit more productive and a bit more consistent rather than forcing myself to put something out by saturday so I hope this turns out well. I believe in myself <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was just rambling a bit. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt as well to see the full piece and all of that. And I will see you around.